I'm editing, not filming. I'm editing, and I realize I didn't film an intro. So, hey, everybody, I'm G. Um, if you don't know me, I hope you're here to learn more about me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope you enjoy part two of this vlog. I'm dumb. I didn't show you guys or show you. I went to Sephora. I got a couple things. See, why is it bright now? I'm so confused. I don't understand. Anyway, okay, so I got the Laneige uh, Lip Balm in Peach. You guys are gonna laugh at me. I lost mine. I had one of these and I lost it and it's my favorite flavor. It's better than the gummy bear flavor and I'm mad at myself. Uh, and then I got the Glossier Cloud Paint in Color Puff. It's like bright pink and that's like my vibe right now. I need to find a different word. That's my aesthetic right now is using like bright pink blushes. And then the last thing that I got is something that I've been using for like years and years and years. My friend Sam from high school put me onto this. She is actually funny enough like Sammy Whammy, P5 of Vanny is what I used to call her. Um, she was my big like, she pulled me into this world of like sharing things with people and influencing. Not that she doesn't do that like for her job, but she just like was a big influence in my life. I think she really introduced me to this side of the world. Ah, and this perfume was one perfume body spray was one that she got me on like years ago. Like one time she sprayed it in her car and I was like, what the hell is that? And it smells, it's the Sol, uh, Sol de Janeiro. I think that's how you say it, right? And it is the 62 body wash. Or, guys, I'm sorry, body spray. Sol de Janeiro, that is what the brand is. I'm not well, okay? I'm very sorry. But this, this perfume, so I got the big one, like the bigger size. It was, I think the smaller size was like 28 and this one was like 36. So this is like twice the size of the other one. So I went ahead and bought the big one because this is all I wear in the summer. Like when I go to dinner with my family and stuff or with my friends or whatever, like going out, I wear like real perfumes. But like every day, per every day like body spray, because this isn't perfume technically, but every day body spray, like in the summer, the second it is spring, it is just this on my body at all times. And I don't get more compliments than I get on this. Like the only other perfume I think that gets this many compliments is my Ariana Grande cloud perfume. Like if even, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Everyone's like, what is that? You smell like you just came back from the Caribbean. And I'm like, yeah, I'm aware it's this. So you're welcome. Um, go get it. Go get your hands on it. That's it. I forgot that I had to show you guys that, but that's it. Be the best products. Hello, friends. Okay, I hung the things on my wall. Look at how cute. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it around. Um, this is what it looks like. Okay, again with the dark lighting, you guys. I'm doing my best. I really, really am. I don't know how else to make this like brighter. I need to work on it. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Um, my two New Yorker covers, I can't handle this. One is dark, like like the brown stones, and the other one is pink. I might have to switch this one because of the colors in this bedroom that I've now established. There's too much pink in that one. Um, cool. There's, wow, okay. There's too much pink in this one versus that one, so I might have to switch it because look at the rug. I love this rug so much, so, so, so much. But like that one makes sense, but that one doesn't. And then in the bathroom, I'll show you. Again, with this lighting, you guys, I don't, I put um, TPWK on the back wall. It looks so cute. If you know TPWK, then we can be friends. Also, I'm in my orange girl era. Like, do you see that? Like, sure, you can't see it when the door's open, but when it's closed, you can see it. Um, gives you like multi-purpose, you know? And then I think I really do want to put like a jewelry hanger, like a necklace hanger right there, like an acrylic one. Nothing too out of the ordinary. And then these shelves are just still naked. They need stuff on them. So we're working on it. We're working on it. That's all I've got for you. Um, I'm about to upload a YouTube video. And then I need to, it's almost four o'clock. I have dinner at six with my friends. We're going to the Mexican. If you've ever been, let me know what you think. Okay. Love you so much. I can't with this lighting. I really can't. Okay, so you can see that. But see, why does it go dark like that? Ugh. I'm really frustrated. Like, really, really frustrated. I don't know if it's because there's too much, like, white in the background. I really don't know what it is. Um, oh, but see, then she goes dark. Why is it doing that? I don't know what it is, you guys. I really don't. I'm trying here. I even changed the settings just now. I should probably just go, like, look it up on YouTube. I'm so upset. I'm testing the lighting in like different areas now. Why? 
Why is it doing this to me? I don't know if it's because like there's too much light in this room so it doesn't know where to grab the light from. I don't know. I'm just gonna go look it up on YouTube and stop boring you guys with it. I am so tired and I have to go to dinner. I'm checking all in my sheets. I'm washing them. Um, my duvet cover and stuff because I am bleaching them. So they are from Pottery Barn and anyone's gonna like literally hang me alive for saying this, but um, so I have the old like Pottery Barn like duvet covers and inserts. Oh, I guess it still has time on it. Have like a gray lining on it and I can't stand it. I need it to be white. I don't like gray anymore. Um, and I think I bought them originally because I thought that like it looks good, but it really doesn't. Also, it, the lighting in here just looks so weird. Um, so I'm trying to bleach all of it to make sure that it all turns white, but I can see that the bleach hit it like an evenly. <sighs> I'm gonna to, like soak it. Because I don't like technically have to soak it, but. Anyway, it's in, it's in the washing machine and I'm upset because I can see that it's still like gray. Hold on. gosh my life has been altered and so has y'all's you can now see me okay well I'm back from dinner this is life-changing ladies and gentlemen life-changing um I really wish I had my tripod did I hit I did I hit the side of the camera oopsies hi you guys how's it going I am home from dinner Actually, I got home from dinner like a really long time ago. I just didn't show you guys my outfit and I feel really bad. Um, but I made a TikTok out of it, so I will post the TikTok and I will insert it right here. Um, hope you liked my outfit. It was very Zara girl, just like cash vibes, you know, like cash beer. No, I'm just kidding. I used this Fenty lip gloss and I really, really liked it. It's the Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth, shade four. This is what it looks like. There you go. That's what it looks like. I love it. It's like super glossy and super shiny. Um, that's what I used for dinner. And then I got home. Also, look at, you can finally see my rug. That's what it looks like. Also, there's my bed with zero duvet cover on it. So, I don't know if I told you. Actually, I think I did tell you this, that my, my old duvet. Um, so, this one in the guest room have like my old duvets from like either high school or from college. Um, the one I have now is very different, but... I had duvet covers put on these on this bed. I was ahead of my time with duvet covers, to be honest with you. I just thought they looked fluffier. If I'm being totally honest with you, I saw them on an episode of Real Housewives of like Orange County 
I think it was Orange County. Yeah, when Megan King Edmond, is that her name, was still married to Jimmy and she had duvets all over her beds and they look so fluffy. I've always been super into aesthetic, like always been super into aesthetics. So um, I realized that never since then. I was like, oh, I need duvets. I don't need comforters. And the old ones that I don't use anymore just get passed on to the guest rooms in my mom's house because she was a big comforter, like quilt girly, until she realized that like duvets keep their shape way better, which they absolutely do. Um, but anyway, so all of mine are from, all my duvets are from Pottery Barn with the exception of the one that I have now, but that one's from Target and that's the one funny, I get enough question, more questions about that one than I do these ones, but okay, so remember the Pottery Barn ones have like these lines all over them? Oh, it looks so good. Um, so I had a gray set, I had two gray sets, the one from college and then the one from high school. The little lines were gray and at the time it made sense because my bedroom in high school was blue if i mean you guys remember if you've seen those videos my bedroom in high school was blue so all of my accent colors were black and white and like gray so um everything i had was like accent color like silver or gray and i don't know why i still have this ring on my finger now i'm much more of a neutral person and i'm much much more into gold than i am into silver every girl makes the upgrade at one point in her life and um so all of my duvet covers were gray and I hated it because it doesn't go with the vibe of my like life anymore. So I bleached all of them. Like, well not like the whole thing. Well actually yes, the whole thing, but then also like the actual like fabric. Um, not fabric, sorry. Stitching or whatever this is called, whatever you call it. I bleached it so that the like lines would come out more like neutral tone. And if you can see, they're still kind of splotchy. So I'm probably gonna have to do like one more round of bleaching, but it looks really good. And I really like it. It goes with the neutral vibe of my bedroom. So I'm just putting it on everything because nothing has it on anymore. Cause I just washed it all and I did it in the guest room. But now you can finally, finally see, I put these up earlier today, the New Yorker covers. Look how cute that is. I think I told you guys, but I think I'm gonna have to choose a more green version because the pink is kind of throwing off my bedroom. And then I put this in my bathroom. You guys saw earlier, but it's the TPWK um, print. It's so cute. And like, obviously you can't see it when the door's open, but then when you close it and you're in here by yourself, you can see it and it's so cute. Look at that. That way you never forget TPWK. Um, I'm wearing like really old sweatshirts that I don't wear anymore, including the clickbait one. That's why I have it on right now. Dinner was so, so, so good. We went to the Mexican. It's a Mexican steakhouse. And you guys know that I don't really eat red meat anymore, but if there's like a restaurant that I'm going to, that's like a steakhouse. Like obviously I'm not gonna not eat it. Like what am I gonna eat? Salmon, which like you can absolutely eat salmon at a steakhouse. That's not me shading you. But like, if I'm gonna go to a steakhouse, like I'll have a steak, like I'll have a little one and like a salad and stuff. And it was so good. I was shocked by how much I liked it and how much I actually enjoyed my experience there because I'm very, very, very picky about Mexican restaurants, as you know, because I am Mexican. So I was impressed. The drinks were really good. Um, the food was good. The vibes were immaculate. And yeah, I honestly would go back again because I want to try some other stuff that they have there. Was it a bouge dinner? Yes. Was it an expensive dinner? Yes, but the thing is I've learned in life, like those are things that I'm willing to splurge on or like experiences, you know? I'd rather splurge on like an experience with my friends than something silly goofy that I can only use myself, you know? That's kind of what I've learned in my 20s. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my bed and then I'll show you guys once it's done. Good morning, besties. Wow, what a difference it makes when you can literally see me. Although I feel like the walls really wash me out because it was just so white. <clears throat> just woke up, got ready for the day. Looks like it rained outside. My car is all wet. <sighs> Time to study. And then surprise, surprise, I have an appointment to go get a facial today with Jenna. Um, if you used to watch my vlogs, you know that I've been seeing Jenna since I was like 14 years old. So I've known Jenna for a really long time, but ever since I started school, I haven't been able to see her because I've just been so busy. Um, cause she only works certain days, so I can never see her. My horse is, my horse, my voice is really hoarse. Jenna is so sweet. She has helped me so much with my skin. This, she's not gonna like to see, but it'll be fine. Most of it's flat anyway. Most of it's gone. Just hormonal acne. Um, 
it happened like after my period too which is what was super weird to me because normally my hormonal like if there are any that i have normally i don't want the medication that i take but if i have any breakouts it's usually around my period and these came up after so that just tells me it's probably what i was eating that was messing with my skin i'm trying to think if there's anything that i switched like my laundry detergent i mean i tried out the like the Kris Jenner like laundry detergent from like Safely, but I wouldn't think that this would have like any bearing on that, but that stuff does mess with your hormones, so maybe I should switch to that really clean brand, what's it called? Branch Basics. Maybe I should switch to that. I've been hearing so many things about like hormones being disrupted with all these different chemicals and I mean, I'm a girl who has hormonal acne. So maybe I should switch and try that out and see what happens. Okay, need to go eat breakfast. my cutie friends how are we doing I just finished with Jenna I'm in the drive-through at what be to get some fries because my mom's making dinner but I need a snack <laughs> um, I just had my facial I'm talking to Lauren right now a facial I had a facial with Jen uh. <laughs> I can't even tell you like what it was that she did because like I've known her since I was 14 years old so I really just give her like free reign to do whatever the frick she wants to do with my face um, I trust her she knows my skin, she knows everything about me. She actually has like worked in tandem like with my dermatologist before and like the medications that I take and the topicals that I'm on. Um, but it was a good time. It's the first time I've gone to Jenna in a really long time, like almost a year. No, I think over a year at this point because yeah, over a year. Um, and I was just, I've just been so busy with school and like she's a little further out than where I am. Um, but I'm staying with my parents right now and she is right. Like it's like a 10 minute drive, which is so nice because growing up the spa that she worked at, um, when I used to live in, we used to live in Cop Hill. I can, I guess I can talk about it now. So I grew up in Cop Hill. Um, and she worked at the spa, like literally three minutes from where I grew up, like the house that I lived in. And so she lived so, so, so close that like was three minutes away. And then she started her own business. Like she went off on her own and she moved into a spa that was a lot further from us. So like we would go, but it was like a little bit more like, it was like a 25 minute drive. And then like, if there was traffic, it was usually like 30, 35 minutes. So it was a little further, it was harder, but then like, um, now that my parents have moved, she's once again, like so close to them and she's further from me, but that's okay. I don't mind making the trek to come see her. And then like once I'm full time or not full time, but once I'm working like big girl job, hygienist, I'll have days off. So I just love her. I love when I get to see her. I love when I get to update her. She knows everything about my life. So it's been easy, you know? And I was like, tell someone new about every part of my life. I just love her. That's all. Hi besties. We're home. I just changed. I need to start laundry. I need to they, look at the lighting so much better. I need to do laundry while I'm here because I don't have any clean underwear. Also, did you see that Kylie Jenner released a mascara and like that's her explanation for like the Selena Gomez eyebrow thing? Um, no. They're talking about it on the toast. I was just listening to it and they were like, oh, like Kylie Jenner like released a mascara and like that's why. But you also know how like you know that concept confirmation bias you know what that is if you don't know what that is it's like where you already have a thought in your head like you have a preconceived notion already so you like look for anything that confirms it do i think this is like a situation of confirmation bias where like i'm looking for anything to confirm that like kylie and Haley are mean girls 
probably there's probably some sort of like bias that I already have that I like think that they're mean already so like I don't believe that they were being nice I don't I'm sorry but like Hailey Bieber maybe maybe the Jenners aren't involved maybe that's it but like I know that Kendall is not a nice girl like you can see it in her face maybe Kylie's nice but like you can see in Kendall's face that she's not nice and Hailey I'm sorry but Hailey's not nice either you can see it in her face too and that girl that girl she's scary she is literally the epitome of like what it would be like if a fangirl was able to like marry her favorite celebrity like don't act like you wouldn't be insane don't act like if i married nick jonas let's put it that way because he is my ultimate or he has been since i was like 13 but like it has changed obviously like that's not who i would you know that's not who i would choose now but like if i did it would have been like if i had married nick jonas and like i was doing this to miley cyrus like i was like trail like you know what i mean like do I think that Hailey Bieber would have been a celebrity on her own without Justin? No, I don't. Sorry. Like previous to Justin, she was literally the girl that was hooking up with all of these men in relationships. I just, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If that's mean, that's mean, I guess. But, um, no, actually it's not because I don't like outwardly bully people on the internet. Like she does. Anyway, that's, their saving grace is that they're saying that Kylie Jenner was coming out with a mascara and that's why they posted that photo that like FaceTime photo I just don't buy it I don't like maybe that was it like maybe that mascara was in production already and maybe they like sped it up with all of this like controversy and stuff maybe they did but I'm sorry Hailey Bieber is a mean girl and you're not gonna get me off that horse she is a mean girl you can see it in her face you can see in her face that even though she has the man, she's still insecure because you know why? Because she's not Selena. Okay. Starting laundry. Hey. Hold please. Also, look, I called these um, the Kris Jenner tiles. I chose these for the house look. If you are a OG Keeping Up With The Kardashians fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I call these the Kris Jenner tiles and they look incredible. You cannot tell me otherwise. Sorry, okay, back to what I was saying. Everyone's like, oh my God, you look like a fool for thinking Hailey Bieber was mean or like Kylie Jenner, that's too high, um, is mean, like you look like a fool. No, I don't. No, I don't because I know that they're mean in my heart. I know they're mean girls. You can spot mean girls in an instant. It doesn't take much to realize when a girl is a mean girl. And Hailey Bieber is a mean girl. She just is, I can feel it in my bones. Um, and when I say that, I don't mean she's mean to everybody. Mean girls are people who are, they choose who they're nice to. They decide who they're nice to. Not everybody is awarded the luxury of being, having a kind interaction. That is mean. When you pick and choose who you're going to be nice to. That is a problem. But anyway, allegedly Kylie Jenner came out with some mascara or some shit. And that's why they were posting those FaceTime photos. But like... That doesn't make any sense because Haley wasn't wearing mascara in that FaceTime photo. I've gotten too deep on TikTok. But that doesn't make, like I said, that doesn't make any sense. Kylie, or, um, Ke, what her name? Haley. She didn't have any mascara on. So that truly does not make any sense. Sorry. Okay, laundry has started. It's raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. I think I'm going to switch back to the desk because it's past four o'clock. That's usually what I do. I study during the day like in the, in the like living room, the open room I guess is the way I should say that. And then once it's like past 4.30, I switch to the desk. It helps me like break up the day. I used to do that. I started doing that um, when I would study for stuff in college. Like I would break up the day instead of sitting in one room like all day long in the library. I would like start in one place and then after lunch or something, I'd go to a different room. Just like tells you how much time I spend studying. That I have to like break up my day in <sighs> chunks. Anyway, what am I studying right now that I could teach you guys about? Like teach you something cool about hygiene. Oh, I'm doing the nutrition section right now. Did you know that um, magnesium is the nutrient that humans are most efficient in? Like most commonly most efficient in is magnesium. Did you also know that calcium is the most commonly found nutrient in the body and phosphorus is second in case you wanted to know that like in case you ever needed to know like for trivia or something i don't know 
I don't know your life. Also, I put a coaster down on the table because my mom yelled at me the other day and I've never felt more like a high schooler in my life. Also, my friend Sophia saw my be real. She was like, for the love of God, please use a coaster on your mom's nice table. She's like, okay, that's fine. Like, the table was really expensive, I remember it. Um, guys, I have Daisy Jones and the Six stuck in my head. I think I'm gonna need to watch it later. Or like maybe it's raining outside. Whenever it's raining, I wanna watch Parent Trap. That's immediately what my brain goes to because I wanna see the last scene where like in the rain, you know, when they go to like London, like the dad. And it's like, did you know mom, did you know that Concord gets you here in half the time? And she's like, I'd heard that. I didn't know that, but I'd heard that. <sighs> I love that movie, it's so good. It's really incred. Okay, I need more water. If you're gonna let me down, I don't wanna get copyrighted, but if you're gonna let me down, let me down easy. If you're gonna let me down. Okay, we're back in our study hole. Hi, besties. How you doing? Look at this lighting. Look at how much better. Ugh, can't get over it. This is gonna be like the saga of the lighting. I studied all afternoon. I came home after my facial, studied, had dinner, made dinner with my mom, um, continued to study for the rest of the day, and now here I am. Showered, PJs are on. You guys, here's the thing. Do I wear the same PJs? Yes. I wash them every day. And that's just part of having OCD. I'm going to bed. I don't wash my face the nights that I get facials done. Like if I get it done that day, I don't wash my face that night. I'm supposed to wait till the next morning so that like everything that Jenna did just kind of like seeps into my pores, if you will. So we're not washing our face tonight. Um, that's all I got for you. I love you and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. Karma's a relaxing thought. Are you envious of for you? It's not. Hi, Swifty sisters. Hi, YouTube channel. How we doing? It is Saturday morning. So yesterday I didn't vlog at all because I took my mom to get her teeth fixed. Well, not fixed is the right word. I got. I took her to get some teeth extracted. Uh, if you're a tooth person, she got two and 14 extracted because she had, when she came to see me at school, and she's okay with me talking about this. She's like, yeah, I don't care. Um, she came to see me at school. I found some stuff in her panos and in her x-rays that I took. And I was like, uh, so I sent her to, um, my, der my dermatologist, my dentist, because she goes to a different one or she did. But now she goes to my dentist as well. And, um, they found some things. So they found, you know, some pretty gnarly periapical infections, which I knew were there, but you know, I can't diagnose that. So, uh, she had a couple teeth pulled, extracted, I guess I should say to get rid of that because there was no saving the tooth anymore because they had had root canals on them and the root canals failed and God knows when they failed. I don't know when they failed, but um, the infection was pretty bad, like pretty bad. Also it's like, for those of you who think like, oh, it's just like a cavity, especially your maxillary molars, your mandibular ones too, because like you could lose parts of your jaw and then just like not have bone down there. So that's super cool. But especially their, their top teeth, like when you think about it like this, I had a professor explain it to me this way. And like uh, after this, like patients pay attention when I say this and um, they actually are like, oh my God, I didn't think about it that way. But yeah, so your maxillary teeth, they're connected to a sinus, like your sinuses that are right here. And that is like, inches away from your brain. So just think if you have an infection of your tooth, or I'm sorry, if you have an infection in your tooth and you wait long enough to just let that spread, it is a full, it's an infection. It's not just like a, I hate that like, we don't really explain what cavities are to people. Cavities are decay. They are active infection that is in your body and it's just circling around your circulatory system because people don't realize that teeth are connected to the rest of your body. So that's kind of how I explain it to people. My mom had a pretty bad infection and um, I have never taken x-rays on her. I had never seen any of her x-rays. Again, she goes to a different, she had gone to a different dentist than I did. She now goes to the same dentist I go to and I really trust her. Um, but she had pretty gnarly like periapical infection, meaning like around the roots of her teeth. And like I said, both of those were root canal treated teeth. So there was no saving them anymore. It was the decay was too bad. So. They extracted those and she's on the mend, but I basically took care of her all day yesterday, like while studying. Um, so that's why I didn't vlog because I was very busy, you know, getting all the soft foods and such. And people, even my dad was like, why does she need to be on a soft diet? I'm confused. It's just teeth. I'm like, 
nobody thinks that teeth are important until they're the ones getting them like fixed and pulled. Also, I'm studying right now. I'm just taking a break to talk to you guys. So here's your sign to go to your yearly or bi-yearly checkups at your dentist and make sure that they're taking the correct kinds of x-rays when you're there um, and keeping up with all of that stuff. Anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. I am studying today because I'm, you know, a nerd and boards are coming up, but I'm taking a break at this very moment to talk to you about the Eras Tour because last night was night one in Glendale, or sorry, Swift City, as they changed it to last night. Um, Last night was night one. You guys, I stayed up way too late watching people's live videos on TikTok of the concert. And to be honest with you, I never said that I wasn't gonna watch the videos. I was like, no, I'm gonna watch it so I can prepare. And I'm happy that I did because now I know what songs she's going to play. And I have a playlist on my Spotify that's basically like Eras tour prep. I'm so excited about it. I literally cannot wait. I'm going to the show on April 2nd. I'm so excited. You have zero clue. Like, if anything, TikTok just, like, amped me. Also, her outfits look incredible. They look incredible. I'm just so excited for her. And her hair looks beautiful. She's wearing it, like, long, like, um, her, she's wearing her natural hair, I assume with extensions, but, like, her bangs. Oh, my God. She, she just looks so beautiful. I forget, like, Taylor Swift is one of those people who just, like, very much, like, rocks the bangs at all times. I love her. She looks beautiful. She's incredible. Her voice sounded like spectacular and there are a lot of artists and I think artists or I can admit that Taylor is in this category like if you're a Swift you can't admit this like Taylor is very gifted in her writing very 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 gifted in the way that she writes music like I think she writes the most beautiful lyrics to date except for like Stevie Nicks maybe but like she writes the most beautiful lyrics I think um yes I know what you're thinking, sexy baby, and you're thinking um, I'm on some new shit, whatever. Like, yeah, sure, she's got her things, but she's gotta keep her lyrics relevant to the times, you guys. Um, anyway, she sounded incredible, and her voice sounded better, I think, than it's ever sounded before, like, truly. And I don't know if she's just been, like, preparing her voice and her time off, which is beautiful. Like, I love that she's doing that. Um, also, this is the perfume that I told you guys about that I use literally exclusively in the spring and summer. Um, but she sounds incredible, looks incredible. All the outfits look amazing. The only thing that makes me sad is that she only sang one song from Speak Now. Um, she only sang Enchanted, and Speak Now is my favorite album. Now that I've gotten older, I have different favorite albums. Now I think that Red is probably my favorite. It's really tied with 1989 though, because those are kind of the eras that I'm in. Those are the eras of my life that I'm in. Like, you know, like getting hurt by your love and being with your friends and like experiencing life, experiencing life with all your friends and stuff. But I'm trying to put you in a good spot. But anyway, now that I've had all of that, I'm gonna study for the rest of the day. Probably check in around like dinner or something with you guys. I'm so sorry, but that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay, I love you guys. Hi, besties. It's 11. I just finished studying. Um, I just finished taking some practice questions. It's funny because I literally just took my ethics class and that's the one, those are always the questions I get wrong. Hi, besties. Um, how's it going? It's days later. I left my camera here at my parents' house. I went home and got some stuff done a couple days passed. It is now the night before I take my dental hygiene boards. This is like a moment. This is a moment in the making in the past two years. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I take boards. I feel like my program has prepared me in a way that I could not ask for better preparation. Like going over all the review material that I have and like the program that I did, the review program, it's been great but like it just solidified that the program that I'm in has truly prepared me. I am very thankful to my school. I feel more than competent. I feel more than confident. Like if someone were to say, okay, you need to go see like a real patient right now. I'd be like, okay, I can do it. I felt like that for like a couple, maybe like a month and a half now. I really felt like confident in my abilities. Um, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm thankful and I'm happy to have gotten to this point. I can't believe this is happening. There's so many things in my life that have like gone left and right of the way I really thought I wanted my life to go. 
and I'm just so proud of myself for getting to this point. It's been a long time coming. Not to quote Taylor Swift, but it really has been a long time coming. And if you know me and you know my story and my journey, you already know I don't have to explain that to you. And maybe in time I'll explain that to you guys, but we made it. We're here. Ugh. Wow. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, besties. Um, it is hours, hours, hours later. I took boards today, yay! We took boards, we are done. We are finished before you ask me how it went. I don't know. Um, I think I did well, but I also don't know. Those tests, standardized like national tests like that are tricky and I'm not the greatest test taker, but I know that I'm smart, so that's the hard part. Like I know that I'm smart, but like taking tests just is not my strong suit at all. I suck at it. I know things and then I'll get in there and I'll psych myself out. Um, but I think I did okay. So I guess we'll see when I get my test results. I don't know when I get my test results. I think in like a month or two, I really don't know. And I didn't want to know as soon as I got out of there. I said, peace out Girl Scout. I went in at around like 7.45 and I got out around like 3.30. Mm, there was also like delay in beginning my exam and then something once my exam started, which was just a vibe. Um, Anyway, I am tired, I'm exhausted. I came home, came back to my parents' house. I was too tired to go home, so I just am staying here the night. Fell asleep in the media room for like hours on end, and now I'm here watching YouTube. Finally, finally returning to the normal aspects of my life. Oh my God, it feels so nice to have like control back in my schedule. I can't, I just can't wait. I'm just so excited to finally be able to do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. So anyway, I can do a video on like how I studied for boards if you guys wanna know, um, for all you dental hygiene girlies out there. If you wanna know how I studied for boards, if you wanna know tips and tricks, if you wanna know what the test is like structured or whatever it is, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments or DM, DM me on Instagram. You guys are great about that. I always have my Instagram handle down in the description box. You guys always send me great questions. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys right now. I'm gonna go to bed and watch watch some very well-deserved TV because I haven't done that in a while. Okay, love you.